Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cairns, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what can you expect over the next few months, okay? So what is it that you have to look forward to? What is it that you perhaps need to make some room in your life for, okay? What's next, basically? It is a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Hey, um, we did channel some of your energy here, water energy. So what is it that you can expect over the next few months? Um, first and foremost, with the Nine of Wands energy, there's this, um, it's this energy of suspicion. It's almost this energy of resistance. I think a lot of you are wanting um, some changes in your life, okay? You're wanting to rate to make room for something new for something exciting um, For something even unpredictable. You just want some things You know, you want things to start working out for you. You want things to start lining up You feel like you're ready, but at the same time, it's almost like there's a part of you that's a little bit scared You're a little bit scared because of you know what is new is also what's unfamiliar and you're just not sure how you're gonna go with it You're also scared of some of you. I feel like um, you know, you're wanting to make some very big power moves here, but you're also scared because you're not sure whether it's going to work out or you're not sure of the consequences here. So I feel like the Nine of Wands here is really asking you to, you know, um, watch that resistance kind of energy, okay? Because you are in an energy where I feel like you're attracting, okay? I feel like you're in like this manifesting mode energy, but it's this energy of resistance that's going to repel whatever or whomever it is that you're trying to attract. Um, and there's this element of suspicion, there's this element of fear, okay? Um, yes, whatever you have planned, okay, or whatever you're trying to plan, there is no guarantees in life. So yes, it may not necessarily work out according to plan. But sometimes things not working out for you is also a part of the plan, okay? So, um, you know, you can still feel the fear and do it anyways. Like, you... You know, you're allowed to have your doubts, your reservations, or even like hesitate about whatever it is that you're trying to work on or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish or the next move that you're trying to make. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's this kind of energy, like the world is not out to get you. You know, people are not trying to sabotage or jeopardize anything for you. If anything, I feel like, you know, with this kind of energy, you can be your own worst enemy. So it's really time to just maybe trust yourself a little bit more. Okay, you got this. Trust that. You're going to figure it out, even if it's like, even if you don't necessarily have it all figured out now, you know, trust that it's all going to fall into place, that kind of energy, because you want to, you want things to, you know, start lining up for you, you want things to start coming to alignment, but before they do, you have to do so first, okay, and maybe that's one of the reasons why some of you have been struggling to manifest certain things in your life okay um any failures any setbacks um it's a, really an opportunity for you to um you know look at what didn't work go back and work on it and do it bigger and better next time so don't let any defeats um yeah any defeats especially because it's a wounded soldier right nine of wands here is a wounded soldier and he's looking around um quite suspiciously so anything that you feel has been a defeat for you um, it's really an opportunity for you to go back and do something better. Um, I'm seeing a lot of time alone for a lot of you. Okay, so some of you, and especially with the hermit's energy here, he is not he's not a loner um, per se. He's someone who chooses to live in seclusion. He's someone who, you know, likes, enjoys his own company. He's someone who needs the time alone so he can 
think, he can collect and gather his thoughts, his emotions. So this is by choice. So I see you spending a lot of time on your own, but this is by choice, okay? So romantically, I feel like some of you are choosing to intentionally be single and stay single just because you feel like you really want to focus on yourself. For others of you, because the hermit is a traveler, a wanderer, I see a lot of traveling. That is being predicted for you in the cards but i do feel like most of the traveling you're going to be doing alone it feels like this is going to be quite a journey that you're embarking on quite an adventure and i see a lot of growth okay so if some of you had plans to travel if you've had plans to relocate um, especially you know moving in the physical sense I think, you know, this is uh, going to be quite a journey for you because I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth, a lot of character and personal development that will come from this because you're doing it all alone. You're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. But of course, that's where all the growth is, right? And with the lover's card, of course, this is perhaps the biggest um, you know, prediction of love. Um, love in all its sense, okay? This is romantic love. This is, you know, choosing you. This is alignment this is a purpose i feel like things are slowly starting to come together and will slowly start to piece together so you need to really um you know trust yourself trust that the universe has it all figured out for you even if you don't you're starting to choose love okay and this is going to affect all different areas in your life because once you start to choose you and once you start to take better care of yourself you will start to naturally come into alignment with who you are okay your higher self um, you'll also start to come into alignment with the people and the connections and the very things that are in alignment with you okay so if there are certain people that you're not just connecting with okay or certain opportunities that you don't get to connect with understand this you know this very person or this very thing isn't in your alignment they are not in your vibration in your vibrational um energies so don't push it don't force it okay but it is this beautiful energy of um, you know you're starting to choose you're really starting to focus on yourself okay and how to build a better relationship with yourself um, and that just comes off the heels of the hermit energy where you're spending a lot of time on your own you're reflecting you're doing some inner work you're doing some shadow work um, you know this is the hermit has no ego to this card whatsoever there is no ego here this is like purity this is innocence this is really confronting who you are and who you want to be and a lot of you i feel like there is love in many different um forms that it, that it's going to show up in your life this is of course romantic love okay and it can um it can predict a soulmate energy that you're going to be connecting with um and it's interesting because this person you know if this is a soulmate energy whom you might even be connected with right now this person is only really going to notice you once you start noticing who you are okay so they're only really going to start recognizing you and that soulmate energy once you start recognizing you know yourself more if that makes sense so it's like all of the qualities that you want for your soulmate energy to embody, you need to start embodying those first so that you can attract your soulmate energy. And when you do, they can recognize, you know, the soulmate qualities in you. Um, so definitely romantic love, um, a soulmate kind of energy. Okay, one I feel like in which you're going to bear your heart to this individual, one that is very open, almost otherworldly, very transparent, um, very spiritual as well. Okay, this person is going to see you for who you are. And I don't know that a lot of people have seen the real you. I'm not saying that you're going around pretending to be someone else, um, but it just feels like you're really going to be raw with this person, like really yourself. Okay. Um, I feel like choices is very much the theme throughout this reading and I think you're going to have to make a lot of choices okay and some of you I feel like you're almost scared about making some of these choices or decisions because I think some of them are going to be very big and I'm going to and are going to impact you in a very big and powerful way but definitely the element of choices needing to make a choice needing to make a decision and for a lot of you you're going to be presented with a lot of choices and decisions over the next upcoming months um, Seven of Cups tells you that, you know, not not every choice that you think you want to make is best for you. So make sure you're not coming from a place of ego when you make these choices or decisions. Because notice these chalices, some bear desirable gifts, some not so much. So really make sure that your choice, um, your choices are in alignment with your higher self, okay? Not the ego self, but the higher self. Um, I'm seeing some anxieties being heightened here with the moon's energy. I feel like um, 
And I don't know if that's because, you know, this is the feel the fee but do it anyways kind of energy. Could be some of you, you know, are wanting to do something very differently. You may be relocating, you may be doing traveling, you may be, um, you know, choosing to start studying or just um, hanging out with a whole different crowd. It's just this kind of energy where um, it makes you feel alive, okay? It makes you feel scared, it makes you feel nervous. But I think it's a good thing because, you know, you're excited, you're responding to this thing okay or this opportunity or this person or you know whatever it is for you i'm also seeing that for those of you artists i see that a lot of your creativity is being um, heightened during the evening or the night time some of you like to stay up at light sorry stay up late at night and i see that there's a lot of creative um, and it's um, a very inspirational motivational kind of energy here so um, you know if that's your thing if you like to stay up at uh, late at night do your thing uh, sleep in the day whatever it is it just feels like um, I'm seeing a lot of creativity a lot of inspiration taking place in your energy at night you might um, and if you use this energy well I feel like you'll power through a lot of creative projects okay so stay on track um, you're also going back over the next couple of months you're going to go back to something or someone that you love okay could be a past energy if this is a romantic love we're talking about you potentially could be reconnecting with someone from the past it could be an ex it could be someone that you were in love with could could have been an ex-girlfriend boyfriend ex-wife or ex-husband um but i think you're reconnecting with someone who i feel like is still very much in your um like this person is still very much in your vibrational energy i think you know there's a lot of love there still there's quite an emotional throw that connects the two of you together so someone from the past might make an appearance and even though it may have been years since you guys saw each other last it just feels like there's this soulmate energy attached to this person okay if it is a brand new love okay if this is someone who isn't necessarily from your past then the six of cups could explain that this is a past life connection so you were connected because soulmates you know have a soul contract and they're um, uh, binded to each other this could be a past life connection so when you meet this person you might get this crazy um, feeling that you've known each other or that you've met before and it's almost like they're so familiar you could have sworn you've met somewhere someplace perhaps in a previous lifetime okay a very familiar very instant like connection attraction type of energy okay someone you're going to connect with right away but otherwise for some of you you're going back to someone that i feel like you still have feelings for and this person still has feelings for you and the university is giving you a second chance for others it's not necessarily love that you're going to go back to but you're going to go back to something that you loved once especially something you loved once as a child so if you loved um i don't know if you've loved like um you know spending a lot of time in in the garden as a child you're going to go back to doing that okay um or if you've loved painting as a child and you dismissed it as a silly hobby this is something that you're going to go back to now the reason why you're going back to this is because you're going to spend a lot of time making choices that are more in alignment with your higher self so whereas the ego self might have wanted you to dismiss it before your higher self wants you to reconnect with something that you once loved because it brings you pure joy okay it brings you joy it puts you in a state of bliss it serves a higher purpose you feel fulfilled you feel rewarded so why not going back to something you love or someone you love you could potentially also be going back to a company that you worked with um some of you could potentially lend a job um this is like a children's you could be writing a children's book or um like a publishing company but i feel like they publish a lot of children's books or children's films there's a lot of children that i'm seeing as well okay um you could potentially also have someone visit from out of town or you could be visiting someone okay someone who might feel like like a relative or someone very close to you um and there's children involved so I, I don't know if these are your children that you might be visiting children might be visit your children might be visiting you you might be visiting a friend who has since gone on to have kids um but children are going to be important over the next few um weeks or months some of you could be writing or working on a children's project okay we spoke about choices be careful because um 
you know not every choice or decision that you're going to make is going to be good some are going to be mistakes okay some you're going to trip up over but that's okay pick yourself up you know and get, get out there for more fall seven times get up eight times it's that kind of energy okay but you're going to be in a position where i feel like you're going to be presented um, a smorgasbord of choices and you're going to have to choose make sure you choose what's best for you okay don't let the ego take over here um Knight of Pentacles, I feel like there's routine. I'm seeing a lot of routine happening in your energy, okay? Um, I feel like you're finally starting to implement some, like, routine into your daily life. So some of you could start working out and you're going to do it consistently. Okay, consistency is the key to success. So, you know, if you're, like a, if you're a creative artist of some sort, you're going to start doing something on a routinely basis, okay? Um, so little by little, drop by drop, and, um, you know, it becomes a notion so little by little every day i feel like you're you're um inching closer towards success so this is you know you starting to work out you starting to get into shape you starting on a project and you're working on it every day um it just feels like there's something here that you're working on it's a it's a slow kind of energy but you know the tortoise and the hare story you know slow and steady wins the race so make sure you stick with whatever it is here because it is something that i feel like is very emotionally rewarding it's something that's extremely emotionally fulfilling okay so these this is what you can look forward to and make room in your life for the next couple of months um over the next few weeks or over the next few months um and once you start choosing you okay you're going to start choosing people that choose you you're going to start you know um, making choices that are in alignment and that are destined for you okay i feel like it all begins with you so a lot of that attention that you're starting to focus inwards you're going to because of that alignment you're going to start connecting with the right people the right circumstances the right places and you'll notice that you know it's kind of everything will just start showing up for you okay but it all begins with you I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Thanks so much for watching, listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.